Hi there, it's Anna from Inspiration Playground and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute baby cards for a new arrival. The stamp set that I used to make these cards was the Something for Baby stamp set and I also used the um, matching framelit dies. So that comes in a bundle in the current catalogue. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I did is I have my Whisper White cardstock and I've cut that 6 by 8 inches and then scored through at 4 inches. So that's going to create our card base. I then have a second piece of Whisper White cardstock that I've cut at 3.5 by 5.5 inches. And that's going to be the front of our card. So the first thing I want to do is with this one I'm going to use my large polka dot embossing folder and I'm just going to run it through my big shot. So I'm really particular and I like it all lined up but it probably doesn't really matter. Okay so I'm just going to run that quickly through my big shot. Okay, and there we have the spots on it. So I'm going to work with the spots facing upwards, the raised image. Okay, the spots are going to be the raised image. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I've just got some um, scrap subtles um, DSP from the DSP stack. Um, and I'm just going to use my 2 and 3 a punch to just... Do the solid scallop circle. The next thing I'm going to do is take some more of that scrap paper because on the back of the spots is the writing. And I'm just going to take my bow builder punch. Oops, see, I've been using Malamomo to make bows. And I'm just going to make sure that the writing's up the right way. So you have to do one with the writing up the right way. And one with the writing upside down. So I might have to do to fit this on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so one up the right way, one upside down. And then I've just got a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock that I just want the center piece of my bow. that aside now I just want to build quickly build my bow so I'm just using my snail adhesive I'm going to cross my fingers that it works for me and what I want to do is I want to have the writing on the outside Oops, that's right. okay Okay, so just putting them together so that both of the writings facing upwards and then I'll just actually I'll just go right along here and I'll just pop the center of the bow around so we've got just the plain piece in the middle And then we'll just attach these two pieces. That one. There we go. Okay. And there we have our bow. Okay, you might like to ink the edges of the bow. I didn't think it was it was necessary for this project. Okay, but I am going to ink the edge of my scallop circle. So I'll just quickly, just really quickly and roughly. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm just going to take next my one and a half inch circle punch and, and I just want one whisper white circle. And I'll just quickly ink around the edge of that one as well. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that in the middle. Now I am going to put it up slightly so it's not exactly in the middle and that's just simply because I want to put the bow on the bottom here like this okay so I previously um, stamped out my little booties from that um, something for baby stamp set so these ones here and I've already cut them out with my um, framelit using my big shot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back of each of those. Let's make sure you can't see it. And just pop them just on an angle but overlapping. So we want to make sure that they're in the middle because let's face it, that could look pretty bad if they're not. There we go. And I'm just going to take my bow and I'll just put some Tombow glue on the bottom there and pop that. And see I'm lining up top of my scallop circle here and the bottom using the grid so just so that I can get that bow in the middle okay. okay so with a Tombow you probably know you've got a few seconds just to move it around exactly how you want it okay so I'm happy with that so what I'm going to do now is just bring in my piece that we embossed earlier and I'm just going to use Tombow again just because it's quick and easy. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Okay. And then what I've got is um, a congrats from the... Um, expressions natural elements so it came with celebrate congrats um, and thanks and I'm just going to this is going to go along the bottom here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my Tombow and if you're doing this just be careful um, if it's a full bottle like mine um, because it can be a little bit um, get a bit excited and I'm just going to randomly spot just the thicker pieces of that word on the back. And that should be enough to hold that in place. Okay, so just make sure it's in the middle and it's straight. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I just want to take my dimensionals again and just this is going to go over the top so I'm just going to put one in each corner and then I'll also put one on each side halfway down okay so I'll just take back off those and we'll just pop it over the top in the middle okay and then the last thing that I want to do is just add some rhinestones to it so I'm just going to pop one yeah those two are both the same size and then I'm just going to pop a little one just there and there you have it, a really simple card 
for a brand new baby. Hope you enjoyed my video today. Please like or comment um, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.